Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today we have a new scarf project, so stay tuned. So here is our loop scarf. It's super easy because there are only two threads to weave in at the end. So anyway, I'll show you how to do this and of course which wool I used. So here is my Karen Cakes or Tea Cakes pool. So 200 grams or 8.5 ounces, 80% acrylic and 20% wool. The length is 186 meters or 204 yards. It's for a needle size 8. And the color is Winterberry, if you want this exact one. We have here wonderful grayish shades with some purple and blue. So anyway, that's the wool. Let's get started. Here is the beginning. So I messed up this section of the video where I show you the very start. So I have a bit of yarn here as an alternative. So this would be your spool on this side. So this little piece and that's on the right. On the left side is the beginning of the thread from the middle. So let's make a little pretzel shape. Take the needle through. So I'm using 8mm needles, just like the wool recommends, and we pull through. I'm also using knitting needles for rounds, so this is why you see the line that connects the two needles. That way everything stays in place. So anyway, the thread goes like this around your fingers, so this is the position you want to have. And the other one around your thumb. So now we go under and then above. And then we pull. And same thing again. So I'll do a total of 24 stitches and then we will get started with our scarf. The finger movement is easy, so after a couple of stitches you'll get a lot faster at it. So here are 24 stitches, so we can now start with our ribbed pattern. So, working thread goes to the front. The cool thing is that the first stitch is always simply transferred to the other needle, so there's nothing special you need to do about that one. The first two stitches I do knitwise. Then the needle goes to the front and the next two we do purlwise. Then again two knit wise and I keep changing like that. Two knit stitches, two purl stitches. As you can see it's pretty fast. I'm almost at the end. So the last one we always do knitwise. Okay, so now we turn this to the other side and now we take the first stitch to our other needle and we do the stitches as they come. So when you see here purl, then you do them purlwise. wise 
knit stitches we do knit wise. And then again, it's going to be two knit two purl, but the other way around from last time. So I'll meet you at the other end. Also, here I have two purl stitches and the last stitch is always and always a knit stitch. So let's turn. First one goes onto the needle and we again repeat the same process. So we do the stitches as they come. So you see that this is it. It's super simple. I'll finish a couple of more rows and then I'm going to show you what I have and I'll show you the color changes that we have in between. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I am at the end of my first color section. So you see the color change, hopefully. It's a bit lighter now. So we have here the pattern and the rips as well. And you can see on the other side, it's the opposite, but still the same effect. So both sides are actually equal. So anyway, I'll finish now the scarf and um, my whole book's full first, and then I'll be back. Okay, so here I am. I have just a tiny bit of wool left over. So now I'll finish the last row and I'll cast the stitches off. Then I'll form a loop scarf as my very last step. But before we do that, I wanted to show you the lovely colors that we have here, lovely shades and changes. So I hope I can find them all to show you guys. Um, you see here the darker, almost pastel colors, I would say. So they go throughout the whole scarf and you see how lovely some of them are. You can also see how flexible and stretchy the scarf is. So this is due to the pattern. That's why it's super warm and cuddly for colder weather. Anyway, let's get back to your casting off so that we can finish this. So the first stitch we take onto our needle, the second one as well, and the first one goes over the second. Then we repeat. And we still do the stitches as they come. all the way till the end. Okay, here we are. Now let's pull the end thread out. Then pull tight. And now we need to weave in the beginning and the end. And if we want a regular scarf, this is it. Or we can connect the two ends into a loop scarf as our very last but still optional step. So here is my darning needle. It's also great for doing loop scarves. So anyway, you may notice that I shortened the thread a bit. If it's too long, then it's a bit complicated to work with. So now let's align the ends and you can even notice that the colors actually match very nicely at both ends. So you see the knit stitches here aligning with the knit stitches on the other side, same with the purl. So now we're going to go through the other side with, with our thread and needle. Okay. 
and back. And then just continue going there and back. Through each stitch and back and when you reach the end you'll have a loop. I'll meet you at the end then. Here I did it a couple more times to make sure it stays that way. Here the beginning and end, needle is done here. So I'll do two more knots to make sure it really stays like this. And then we would weave these ends in and we are completely done. So you can notice the change or the connecting side from both sides. But since that goes to the back of your neck when you wear it, I don't think it's going to look too bad. So anyways, this is our scarf. I hope you guys like the ripped effect. And I hope you like the colors as well and the project generally. Feel free to let me know what you think, especially how you find the ribs here. So yeah, you can even notice the pearl stitches are always knit stitches on the other side. So it's always the opposite. So I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to shoot us a thumbs up if you did. You can even subscribe to our channel if you would like to stay updated with everything new that we post. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching. So. I'll see you in our next video. Stay tuned and until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!